Historically, we were a pretty loose company um, yeah. in what we did. Um, we had a lot of uh, latitude by our clients to just go get it done. Um, and as we got a little bit more sophisticated with the introduction of Timberline and, and other controls that we put in place, we were kind of forced to, to be a little bit more accountable, and, and this was a great way of doing it. Um, some of the things within Timberline also forced our hand in how we were going to do things. Um, Timberline is very flexible. I mean, it could adapt to what we were doing, but in certain cases, we didn't have a, a firm set of rules that we were following necessarily. So we we let Timberline kind of guide us. Project management, we looked at it. Let's get going. And in our first brush at it, we realized that it was a lot to digest all at once. Mm -hmm. Um, so we focused on it from the standpoint of what the client sees uh, and said, okay, we want to be doing change orders um, and the meeting minutes and the kind of stuff that is our client interaction. And since then, we've said, okay, we've got this part down. We think we're good with the cut. You know, what we're getting to our clients is great. We understand it fairly well. Um, and we just had training two weeks ago, three weeks ago, more on the commitment side of it mm -hmm. and bringing that. And actually that was kind of a two-phase thing. Um, so, but right now we're kind of focusing on the back half and how internally it affects us and how we manage the projects and manage our business. So we have the estimating module that has the estimated and then we're using the buyout module to bring those estimated numbers in, roll, go through with the RFI, or RFQ process, will issue your purchase orders and all of that stuff, and then bring that into job cost and project management.